What's going on, everybody? And welcome to another episode of Junkyard Breaks. Today, we're going to open up a, um, a horrendous box. This thing's in pieces. A box of 1991 Leaf Set Series 1. Um, actually, when I bought this lot, I thought this was 1990. Um, it was a little disappointing when it came back 91. I th the boxes are really similar. I have some 90 up there. I don't know. I thought they were pretty similar. But anyway, so these things are sealed shut with some packing tape. And uh, let me just get that going. And we'll... So we want the Gold Leaf Rookies, but I remember the Gold Leaf Rookies in this set are like Todd Van Poppel, and there's not really Kirk Dresendorfer. Uh, there's not really a lot of big names. So we're looking for the typical guys. Oh, there's so much mold. Ugh. This box is bad. Uh, Nolan Ryan, Barry Bonds, Cal Rifkin. Look at this. That's bad. Okay. I'm going to have to burn that. Uh, yeah, we're just looking for the main guys. Hall of Famers, All-Stars of the time. Uh, most of these guys are going to go in my quarter box for the next time I can get to the flea market. Or for a dollar. Or um, maybe it'll show up on eBay. I don't know. We'll see. I forgot they had puzzles. Uh, this is 573 home runs, fifth on all-time list, second to Babe Ruth in American League. Frank Robinson? Who is it? Killebrew. Killebrew. I knew it. Are they sticking? They're not too bad. They are though. Dicky Thon Ossenmacher. Oh, come on. These guys are sticking. Walton, Combs, Dunstan, Harkey. He's done well as a pitching coach. Hector Villanueva, Harper, and Bolton. And most of these are going to go right in the bin. There's the killer. Number three. All right, this one's not sticking. Nearing Matt Young, Kirby. That's the first quarter card. Bichette, is that his? No. Oh, that's right, he was an angel first. Okay, now we gotta get to these. You know what, let me just they're taped together. It's a cool puzzle. It's all silvery. Insane, same exact pack. Kind of. Nothing. Alright. I remember the gold leaf rookies were actually really nice. So we'll look for, for those guys. Puzzle? This is the same pack as it was right next to it. Coney. Hmm. This should be quick. Juan gone. Why not? The skill. This is like. No, that's his second year. Oh no, he had a stint in '89.
the leaf set. Look at how futuristic that is. That's that's when airbrushing was hot. Look at that airbrushing. That's hot right there. You know, you know. Normally, I'd pull out Hall of Famers, but nobody's gonna buy that for a quarter. After I sell out all those, I have to make another box, ten, ten for a dollar. He would make that box. Oh, I always pull out Canseco. I'm a big fan of Jose Canseco. I don't care. As as much as I was a Yankee fan, watching the Bash Brothers in the late '80s was very cool. There we go. We got our first gold leaf rookie. Look at that. That's a nice card. A little Cordero. Why not? For a quarter. You can have it for a quarter. I don't remember who the big rookie was, though. Cecil Fielder. Just because. I mean, really, if I'm pulling Ozzy out, I should pull Robin Yount out, but... I don't know. Sandberg and Scott Leyes, Gold Leaf rookie. He's not even worth a quarter, but it's cool. Ryman, I think that's his rookie. Puck it again. I just saw a little like news thing on him, like it was like the the fall of Kirby Puckett. I had no idea any of that happened. I don't. I just either I tuned it out or I just don't remember. Like I was surprised, like the womanizing. The I remember the cataracts, but I don't remember like right before he died how his life just spiraled out of control. I feel bad. Well, I mean. Kind of did it to himself in some ways, but nothing, man. These are some bad packs. Better cards in the set. 
just need like a Bonds, a Clemens, a Nolan Ryan, or a Ripken. Those usually, those are the better cards. Another Canseco. I don't know why I pulled Albert Bell out. Somebody's a fan somewhere. Another gold rookie. Let's go backwards. Carl Rhodes. Priming again. Rico Bronia. Just because it's gold, it goes there. That's my third Matt Noakes. Canseco? No. Alright, little cleanup. Tiny bit. right now. Barry Larkin. Paulie. Just tuning in, Greg Maddox is the big hit. Reggie Sanders. That's got to be it. I'm th I'm thinking for a box for Gold Leaf rookies. This one's sticky. God, look at that. How does that make it into a pack? That is trashed. <laughs> yeah, these are sticky again. I don't know if it was... That's weird. Tony Pena, that guy gave me a massage, shoulder massage. I was told that story before. I uh, served. A friend of mine was a manager for a Chipotle. Yankees like Chipotle. We served Chipotle in the Yankee locker room. And as I was making the rice, I got a shoulder massage from Tony Pena and. Joe Girardi were watching us make, uh, well, prepping the rice for burritos. <laughs> it's kind of fun. There's more to that story, though. It's in another video. They did call a player a player meeting, and we did get to hang out with Yogi Berra for like. 40 minutes, which was kind of cool. Mark Grace. I feel like Mark Grace and John Olrude had some of the most under the radar, best under the radar careers in all of baseball. 
both of those dudes had amazing, amazing careers. Oh, I did get another one, Henry Rodriguez. He wasn't a bad ball player either. Sticky. Scott Sheffield Larry Walker second year that's good kind of funny about that Yankee locker room story is that um, I got a little insight into the who's who, who looks into who, who's quiet, who's not, who's cool. They do not, they did not like A-Rod. I can tell you, A-Rod, it was weird. A-Rod didn't, he didn't have a locker in the locker room. He had a locker in the shower room. He, he was just an island all by himself. N he didn't talk to anybody. It was so weird. Um, like right off, right off the kitchen was like a room where you ate food. And right in front of it was like the shower locker stalls. Like anything you would see at like a gym or something. Like, and that was A-Rod's locker. It was not in the locker room. <laughs> Another Rico Bronia. Um, so yeah, he got dressed there while everybody else was in the Yankee locker room, which was bizarre. Nobody talked to him. I didn't see anybody. Oh, nice. First, like, good card. Nobody talked to him. Nobody, he didn't talk to anybody. So bizarre. Then you guys got guys like Swisher, who everybody loved that dude. He's awesome. Like, Mo was super quiet. He just, like, looked around. He didn't say much. Same with Posada. He's, like, just sat in a chair. He just wa watched everybody. And I'll tell you, the coolest, the coolest couple guys there. Brett Gardner. Nice guy. Nice guy. Really nice guy. Swisher was awesome. Girardi was awesome. Um, nothing. I didn't really, I, I saw Jeter for like two minutes while I was making burritos. I didn't really. But, uh, CC Sabathia is like the king, king of the locker room. That dude, he's like a planet with everybody else is just like little satellites they all kind of gravitate towards the dude like he's just doing his thing and everybody's like getting a table next to him eating their dinner they just want to be around cc like the dude is i'm telling you he's got his own gravitational pull that guy's amazing nice that's a good card might have seen a gold leaf rookie Put that there. I'll tell you who was cool though, and I talked to him a lot. Uh, I got to talk to him. Wow, I got to talk to him for like a good forty minutes. Was Brian Cashman? I like that guy a lot. Um, yeah, he'll he's a good dude. He'll he'll talk your ear off. Very nice. Nope, didn't get Nolan Ryan. That's kind of the one you want. Whoa. You want the one you want out of this set. But I can't complain. I got Bonds, Messina, Goldleaf rookie, and a couple of Maddox cards. There were two here, I thought. Uh, the rest is going right in the quarter box. Let me find the other Maddox. Actually, this should go in here. 
quarter box. Um, so that's it. Like and subscribe. Comment down below. Let me know what you guys think. Um, that's it. Check out everything in the description. Uh, Instagram, eBay store, and my t-shirt store. Buy a shirt. Support the channel. And uh, I'll see you again next time.